All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be checking out an updated tutorial on how to use Cool Music Bot. Cool Music Bot is a number, is, well, one of a number of different bots that you can get that play music on Discord from places like Spotify, SoundCloud, Deezer, Facebook, Apple Music, and more. Unfortunately, most of these bots don't support YouTube anymore. And if you find one that does, it won't be long before YouTube tells them to knock it off as well. So we're going to check out Cool Music today and see how it works. So this one's moved to slash commands. So to get this to work, we just have to type in slash help. And then Cool Music should kick in and tell us what it can do and what all of its features are. This is things like autoplay, clear the queue, play music. And as you add music to the to the bot, it'll just start queuing them if there's already a song playing. And then you can do things like check out information about its ping to see if it's lagging, the profile information, status information, all of these lovely things you see here. Um, if you use this bot, you can use them. Although I believe a few of these things, like the different filters that you can add or 24 seven live mode require you to pay for a premium version of the bot, which is usually pretty inexpensive, like one or two bucks a month. So let's check it out. So usually with bots like this, you want to invite them first. In this case, you don't need to use that website that you just saw. You can actually just go to your server settings and then there is an app directory here under apps and then you can just search for cool music. Boom, there at the top, coolest of musics. You can play it, use it, have fun, share it with your friends. You just click it and then you can add it to your server or copy an invite link to give to your friends if they also want to use it. Um, I'm in the I'm in the business of trying to teach you how to use stuff, so I could put an invite link or you could just find the app directory. It's very useful. This is what Discord's moving to right now. So with that out of the way and it's invited, we're just going to hop into a music channel, in this case a voice channel, so that we can play that music. So the first thing you gotta do, just make sure you pop into a voice channel so you can actually interact with the bot. That's usually step one. These things like it when you're in the voice channel so they know where to go. Then I'm gonna type in slash play. It's gonna give me some different options here. I'm gonna type in slash play with the input and then I'm going to have it search for NCS, and then it's going to use that to search one of those sites it has access to for music that's from the no copyright sounds people. And then it'll pop into the channel and it'll start playing. You can kind of hear it in the background, although I'm not going to make it too loud so it doesn't blow out your eardrums while you're listening to this guide. And from here, you can use these commands up here to like pause. You could do be like slash pause. and then it'll pause the music. You can also resume it with a command or you can just hit these buttons. I don't know, I like buttons. I know some people are kind of purists so they're like, oh no, Larry, you gotta use the commands. How dare you use your filthy clicky things, but whatever. You've got the option of using both. And from here we can actually add different more songs to the queue. Like we can type in slash play and then we can type in like hamster dance and just start adding stuff to the queue. Let's just add more NCS. And very quickly, we can start to accrue a playlist of songs, although this isn't making an official playlist. You can input playlist links into these from various services like Spotify. So you can just, instead of typing in slash play and putting in a search term, you can just put a link in there. I don't have a link because I don't use a lot of those other websites, but if I did, you could just put it in there. But since I don't, we're just going to type in slash Q to see what the Q is right now. So I can show you what that looks like. So right now it's playing NCS um, linked featuring Anna Yvette. And then next up is Hamster Dance followed by the same linked song. And if I wanted to, I could skip and then it would start playing whatever was next. Although I don't want to play the hamster dance. It should have a remove command. Let's remove number one. And then I could skip the current song. And then it would skip right to playing 
the next song in the queue, which is the same, the same song. So it wouldn't really change anything, but that gives you an idea of what it can do. So let's look back at the different commands slash help. So here you can see we can play, we can pause, we can look at ping. You can see it's currently got a kind of bot latency of 917 milliseconds, an API latency of 94, and an uptime of 4 hours, 22 minutes, and 26 seconds since it was last restarted. Which is actually not bad. Some, some bot makers leave these things running forever and they feel like they get really laggy. But that might not be related. Uh, but this hasn't been too bad. Like, it sometimes takes a second when I was playing around with it today for it to respond to me. But outside of that, like, I'm not experiencing particularly glitchy audio, although I'm doing this at, you know, 12, 19 in the afternoon. This isn't exactly peak hours, so that could change relatively quickly. It's hard to say. Um, during peak hours, a lot of these services lag because they're pulling from Spotify or wherever, and that usually gets a lot of traffic around that time. And so if we want to stop this, we can just type in stop, and then that will tell the bot to stop. And generally, unless you have this in 24-7 mode, it will completely stop the bot and kick it from the channel. Um, you can also do things like you can remove songs, as you saw from the queue. You can just shuffle the queue randomly. You can loop a single song. You can tell the bot to leave the channel. You can tell it to skip to a specific song in your queue, along with all of these others. I mean, I feel like most of these commands are very, like, self-explanatory, but if they're not, and you're confused, they have this support server that you can go to directly from the bot that they were willing to help you, and I know Alex Dev here, I've talked to him before, they're very easy to talk to, they're very helpful, completely happy to answer any of your questions, and usually available, like, they were just available uh, yesterday at 11, 10.30 p.m.-ish, so, they're around, there's one of the developers around, I don't know the other developer, slash founder, but I'm sure they're also very nice. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out Cool Music Bot for yourselves. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye!